and uh, we watched the free to be taken and an opportunity for Dublin to get their opening score of this game this is their second attack and we're something like four minutes into it and uh, this free to be taken by Carla Rowe she takes a shot an opportunity for Siobhan Woods to get it and Woods is disp- dispossessed momentarily but it's won back by Lindsay Davy. Davy cut in along the inline can she get it onto her right foot and I tell you from her most difficult angle she got the opening score of this game Lindsay Davy. a uh, good score by her and she will be certainly disappointed uh, so, uh, happy to get that one over the bar a really good score from a difficult angle Lindsay Davy getting the opening score of this match and that score coming in the fifth minute of the game it means that Dublin are leading by a point is Kiro Sullivan the team captain for Moore Abbey and Orla Finfin can sail ball on the ground picked up rather fast here too and it's with Breed O'Sullivan the Moore Abbey girl and the Malakamogi player and she's been put under pressure to decide to let it inside trying to get uh, uh, great Kiro Sullivan onto it but again an interception comes in the referee spotted and there's going to be a free in for Cork and it gives me the opportunity to say hello to Dominic Gallagher my co-commentator for the first time this afternoon and Dominic this is a big big test for Cork yeah, big test, um, great start to the game, very open game, um, two very um, fit athletic teams driving up and down the pitch, um, very open game so far, but um, both defences are on top at the moment. Cork have had a couple of chances to get on top, but Orla Finn now with a free put it over. And Orla Finn knocking that one over the bar, no more than Cork is out, and the Cork girl getting here, Her and Cork's opening score in this game, it came in the uh, seventh minute of the match, and it means the sides are level a point apiece. Rebecca working into the corner, and it breaks out to her, a brace kindly for her as well, and she works it off as far as Lindsay Davy, the firefighter, and the Dublin full forward, waiting for support to come, it has come, and the shot coming in, always played inside by Siobhan Woods into the danger area, grabbed inside, this is good play by the Dubs, and the sides are level a point apiece, and a lovely kick, it's dropping in around the danger area, Daisy have it, an opportunity for Lindsay Davy to work her way in, and uh, an excellent save, and into the back of the net after all of that, it was a neck, you know, you might say, how could you make an excellent save, and the ball went to the back of the net, it was an excellent save by Martin O'Brien, and it t- Hailed across, and would you believe it hit the post and into the back of it? It's a vital score, Dominic, with Dublin now leading, a goal and a point to a point. I got in this one rather than the clock playing down. It's a, a situation where there's 12 minutes gone, there's a free in, and it's all a fin once again to stand over this one. And I would imagine that Emer Scally will be quite happy on that occasion. The last time the ball went into her, she was dispossessed, she held on to it, a free came her way. And this one now was a little bit more difficult for Mona Finn. It's about 35 metres out off her right foot. It has left the foot, and can it uh, arrive between the post? I wonder. The answer is yes, and that is a good score by Ola Finn. The talented can say lady has no kick three point and Cocker within a point of their neighbour of, of the dubs morning Rebe uh, Cinderella going to croak was being practiced in Crookstown Hall as the Neve Cotter bears her way towards goal the pan passes out to Finn and then it reached did it reach it did and good play by O'Sullivan there by Kira O'Sullivan being well bottled up and she's fouled and the free will be in and uh, the uh, Dublin defence may be a tad disappointed they've given away a freeze I don't think they had to give away that one but anyway to tell you about the famous fundraiser of Cinderella goes to Croker being produced and organised by the St Val's Ladies Football Club it takes place in Crookstown Hall on March the 3rd and March the 4th and tickets must be purchased beforehand and Orla Finn is about to take a free can she get her four Cox fort and draw parity to the side and it drops into the back of the net would you believe a goal for free by Orla Finn and uh, that the Dublin defence will be uh, more than a tad disappointed about that. Orla Finn landed into the back of the net. A goal for the Kinsale girl. Now, as Dublin have introduced uh, Denise McKenna from uh, Fingalian, seems to be in there at the moment, operating in her own full forward. And she has an opportunity now where it comes as far as Lindsay Davy. And Davy working it off. This is good play by Dublin. Can they stick it onto the right foot? And over the bar, of course, and Carla Rowe. And uh, that is a good score from the number 12. Carla Rowe getting that one. And that is a good response by uh, Dublin. It's a while since they've got the uh, score, I think, to say about 10 minutes ago. Uh, an opportunity now for her, or maybe she'll leave it to Orla Finn to take this one. And I think that would be the uh, wise thing to do. Orla Finn certainly has a. Uh, uh, really good skill in terms of taking freeze but this one is a way out on the uh, right hand side and you probably need a left footed kicker can she do that well we'll tell you all about it as Galway lead Wexford 1-5 to 6 points in the Alliance National League here Cocker leading Dublin uh, by a single point to stop in around the goal but here is stopping over the bar what a wonderful kick this time my friend off her left foot for Orla Finn she is the uh, sole scorer remember from the corner as you say um, Orla's playing very well played very well in general play as well 
there's an opportunity here now as uh, Dublin have it and they're walking inside and there's a uh, seriously uh, Sarah McCaffrey has it McCaffrey's trying to walk inside and kick it off a right foot would be marvellous one is to get over the bar there's a little bit of a discussion on the ball and is there a flag up there is and there's no more discussion and Sarah McCaffrey from Cantor has put Dublin back in business Sarah McCaffrey that has it Kelly driving forward has support and the sport coming from Neve Cotter Cotter cutting through the middle leaving off the Libby Coppinger and Libby Coppinger the pass left a little bit to be desired but you know something she got it back again and she kicks it off a right foot and that is a really good Good point by Libby Coppinger. It's Cox's first point from play from Libby Coppinger. But a good move and a number of players involved in it. Off to Orla Finn and she's still driving forward. She lays it to Orla Finn right now and Orla Finn has been dispossessed. That's a great tackle there by Noel Healy from Dublin and the Dublin defence really tight and uh, really economical and they will be so pleased the way the first half has gone for them despite the fact that Cocker just leading by a point. The referee, Sean Joy, blows the... F I've never seen a ladies football match that has ended like that just 30 minutes and 30, uh, 23 seconds uh, 30 minutes and tw 23 seconds a really good game of football absolutely nothing between the sides a single point we're almost ready for the commencement of a second half where Cork on the scoreboard Lee Dublin on the scoreline of 1-5 to 1-4 and Sean Joy throws it in second half is underway of this particular little uh, National Football League and it plays quickly now where they come to Kiro so we get their touch for touch in the wee foul position and lay it off to Louise Hall call, call in from St. Val's working inside now where it's taken by Dunn O'Sullivan and Dunn O'Sullivan walking inside to her sister now there's an opportunity here maybe the opening score come home and the second half and it does too and the O'Sullivan sisters combine and this time it is Kira O'Sullivan who got that one over the bar and maybe and storming forward so Cork under a bit of pressure at the moment Right now there's an opportunity here where Dublin have it once again but all the feeling well she's not getting out enough and then it comes now as far as Sarah McCaffrey and Sarah McCaffrey uh, getting that one over the bar her brother is Jack and Sarah McCaffrey becomes the point scorer the midfielder and Sarah McCaffrey getting a really really good score indeed for the Dublin girls it brings them back to within a point it's Cork one goal and six to one goal and five and that score coming seven minutes into it Sarah McCaffrey a lovely left footed kick down the field now where it's taken by Orla Finn and Orla Finn has a, 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 a Melissa Duggan running inside it and she just takes her right off it for a split second and she is fouled and I would imagine the Dublin uh, management over there might be too pleased about that uh, free from all vantage point here the Kinsale girl fell rather than was pushed but there's a free in and whether a score will come from it or not well we'll keep you posted I think she's going to take this one shot it's a long long well in terms of ladies football it's out about 30 metres out and, uh, and there's an angle on it but it's left her boat in around the goal mode area this time it drops and it's another wide and remember that's uh, over the bar after that I think it was dropping wide my apologies that thought it had dropped wide we take that one let me tell you as Ola Finn gets a point and I was about to and that score coming in the ninth minute and badly uh, a welcome score again but look at the place back again it is and it's Dublin Rebecca McDonald has a tearing through and she lays this off the goal opportunity here she has laid it up and the shot is in and it comes off the bar and over the bar and Denise McKenna was the lady that hit it and that was destined for the back of the net Denise McKenna now this gives you an indication of what happens in this match a point and one in and 20 seconds later no it's um there's an opportunity for Cork we'll bring you good news about the Ballinine bullet in a minute as uh, Phil Healy has had has won the uh, 400 metres in the indoor championship and she has qualified for the uh, Europeans in both 60 and 400 what an outstanding performance by the Bellinine athlete then a kick coming in here and can it drop over the bar and that is a wonderful point over the bar it has got and a score from Dern O'Sullivan has put it over while we were telling you about another talented West Cork lady it was a more nabby lady that did the business numbers back and uh, but it's laid off and Dublin are on their way forward once again and the player that uh, can't get in inside is Rachel Bourne but a car Rachel Bourne combining well and giving the ball to the 45 metre line the court defence to all organised well enough for this one but again driving inside and it's uh, Eva Keane that ha Eva Kane that has it remember there's no into the number of subs you can bring on the Azizie but Sarah McCaffrey has it again around the goal area and the ball blazed wide in front of the goal this was an incredible let off and I would imagine that Olivia make a take serious measures to defend the free to be taken by uh, Carla Rowe and I would imagine that the girl who has scored a three points so far in this match has an opportunity to put this one over the bar and Carla Rowe will be taking this one right in front of the goal unless she goes for a goal it's going to go over the bar it's into the uh, over the bar it has gone and it has brought their tally now to
to one goal in seven. So there are two points between them. Cork leading by two. And second half, they're seventh of all, if I'm not greatly mistaken. And uh, this game is very, very much alive. Absolutely no doubt in the world about it. And then there's an interception here. And there's an opportunity as the ball is kicked over the bar. And that is a wonderful kick by Dan North Sullivan. Intercepted the kick out. Her second point of the match. And the Mona Abbey star. Yes. And uh, we watch here now. An opportunity for Orla Finn. She has knocked over one goal and six. Remember, uh, her, the goal also came from her free that just caught the Dublin defence off a little bit and dropped into the net in the opening half. So what have we got now? 28 minutes on the clock. And the scoreboard says Cork one goal and ten to Dublin's one goal and seven to Kinsale. Wizard lets it inside. And oh, what a drive and what a point. And the large crowd here in Mallow. Large enough, it must be said. Orla Finn away from her but it was a really top class catch over her head and now there's a free into Dublin and Kira is asking the referee the Carla is asking the referee it's Carla Rowe standing over this one she has the aid of the breeze no doubt about that and I would imagine the sensible thing would be to knock it over the bar the referee is obviously told that there's a number of minutes of injury time to be played we've hit 30 but remember the uh, situation where a couple of players were injured in this game and uh, Carla Rowe has found the target over it has gone and the margin is down to three points. Carla Rowe getting another point for Dublin. It's brought their tally to one goal and eight. No, for a three-point victory against the Dubs and away goes Derno Sullivan sounding down the far side. The field goal play by Hell and she lets it inside as far as Neve Cotter. Cotter leaning out to Jess O'Shea that has it. Jess O'Shea laying it back to Sullivan. Oh, Sullivan back to Jess O'Shea and Jess O'Shea may give it the side of the field here and surely there was a groaning incident there and the ball is kicked wide at the end of it but I would imagine that there is going to be a free and a penalty into court after a foul there that was committed Jess O'Shea laying it inside the leader from Bear haven't seen her taking penalties before well there's always the forces there and Neve uh, Connor and standing between her and uh, we'll say glory for this moment is Irene Hifa as an opportunity as Connor gets ready to strike it there's a goal between the sides this to seal it once and for all and it's sealed forever and a day right now as the ball is in the back of the net and the lady that converted that one is Neve Connor is the lady that makes it a three-point match and I would imagine the referee has blown the full-time whistle he has a Dominic a good day at the cock office